Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this video, we are going to see one more example in Omron PLC. So before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Alright, so in the previous sessions, we have seen two examples. So this is the third example. And here we have a logic. So let's take a automatic bottle filling system. I'm going to explain the concept first. Second, we will take the IO list. Third, we will discuss about what are the logic we can create. Fourth step, we will write the logic in the Omron PLC. Okay. Let's analyze this example picture. Automatic bottle filling system. Okay. So here we are having start, stop, two push buttons. Okay. And... Uh, this is to start the process and this is to stop the process in any emergency case or uh, you want to stop the process in normal you know normal way means you can make use of this push button to turn off this process okay here we are having the conveyor in the conveyor we have uh, bottles arranged over here okay so there is some uh, you know drink over here in the tank which is filling in this bottle Okay, this is tank and here we are having one valve output. This will open or close according to our logic. Okay, and here we are having one sensor which is going to detect the presence of your bottle. Okay, so bottle once you, you know, bottle will be uh, arranged in this way. Once you turn on the process, conveyor will be running. So, bottle will be moving and uh, once this sensor turns on your output have to be you know on for this filling of this bottle so after that again the bottle have to move again the sensor will detect so like this this, this process will continue until you press the stop push button all right so what are the ios over here so uh, already we have seen start stop both are our inputs and uh, this sensor is another input no because this is going to tell us whether the bottle is present over there or not. Correct. So, this sensor is another input. So, here we are having three inputs. And how many outputs? Yes, there are two outputs. One is this conveyor output. To turn on a conveyor or to turn off the conveyor, we have one output. No. So, that is one of the output. And this valve opening and closing. This is an another output. Okay. Now, let's discuss the concept. We are going to fill the you know, uh, uh, cool drink or some drink in the bottle. So, first we have to start the process. When you start the process, you have to turn on your conveyor. Why? Because if you turn on the conveyor, then only the bottle will get moved, right? Correct. This is the flow, correct? So, when you turn on, a, you know, push button, start push button, your conveyor is on. Once the conveyor is on, the bottle is getting moved. Once the bottle reach this place, this fellow, this sensor, no, this will give one input. By using that input, we get to know, okay, bottle is there. You can start filling. So, then this output will turn on. So, once it is getting filled, we are going to turn off this output. After that, conveyor will again start. Again, the process will continue, correct? Again, the this sensor will sense this bottle. Again, this will get open bottle will get filled after that that will go off again conveyor on this will, this will get repeat until there is no bottle or there is stop push button is pressed and here how we are going to tell that uh, bottle is filled there is no sensor for here correct so for that we are going to use one timer so like five seconds for each bottle kind of okay so this is not uh, uh, as per the industry in industry they may they will be having some you know, uh, level sensors. As of now, we are going to use one more timer to calculate the time of filling. Okay. So, let's take that as 3 seconds or 5 seconds. Alright. So, let's see this in the ladder logic. I am going to use one start. Start VV. This is a push button. Okay. So once the push button is pressed, I'm going to 
start the cycle. So for that I am going to use my set coil. Start latch. You can give any name. Yes, this is the latch, you know. That's what I am giving this name. So this is the confirmation that you can start the process. Correct. Hmm? All right. Now, what do you have to do? When you start the process, you have to turn on your conveyor. Correct. Let's go in the flow only. One by one, you will do. So now what I am going to do, once the start button is pressed, I am going to turn on my conveyor. Conveyor. Output. Okay. Connect this. So, conveyor is now on. Alright. Now, when the sensor turns high, what is our sensor? Our sensor is that input which is over that, uh, you know, tank. No, that one. So, I am going to give 0 0.01 which is my Sensing bottle sensing sensor. Okay. When this turns high, I'm going to so once this sensor turns on, what should happen? Our conveyor should stop. No, we'll finish that first. Our conveyor should stop, right? So I have to break the contact here, no. So, I am putting normally closed contact of 0 0.01. Okay. So, the conveyor is stop. What I uh, have to uh, happen again? What is the next step? I have to turn on the valve. Correct. So, for that I am going to help. Get help from one more set coil. Oh, this is the same address. start filling okay start filling so once this turns on i can start doing the process of filling okay so here one thing you have to understand so this bottle sensing have to be combined with your start latch why because if you have not started uh, start the process in that time, if bottle sensor is high, what will happen? Your start filling process will start. No. So, for that, I am going to take an interlock that when the start is pressed, when the process is started actually, then only we have to consider this bottle sensor, bottle sensing sensor. And also one more thing, what is the program, uh, you know, logic you have to write is the rising edge of bottle ejecting sensor. So, here instead of using a normal contact, you have to use the uprising up, you know, it is called as rising edge, no, rising edge of up limit sense, you know, bottom limit sensing sensor, why bottle, sorry, it is a bottle sensing sensor, correct. So, why means, see, there is a presence of bottle, okay, there is a difference that continuously it is sensing the presence or at the entry it is sensing the presence, correct. We want that entry, right? That's what I'm going to take this icing edge. I don't want that, uh, you know, bottle is present over there for the long time. I don't want that. I want that the bottle has entered. I want that rising edge. That's what I'm going to take the rising edge of bottle sensing or detecting sensor or sensing whatever it is. You can give the name according to your, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding. Correct. So, done. So, my bottle sensing sensor is on. And I am setting one coil. Okay. What this coil have to happen? And instead of instead of putting this normally closed contact of this bottle sensor uh, sensing sensor, you can put this bit. This this will sense more, correct? Just a minute. Yeah. So, instead of putting this bottle sensor, uh, you know, detecting sensor, 
you can put this set input this will sense more you know why this will be the correct you know contact we have we can able to i mean we can put why means if you take this sensor presence what will happen until this goes off you cannot able to turn on your conveyor correct but our logic is not like that no after filling also the bottle will be there only once you turn on a conveyor then only the bottle will get moved so if you put the bottle detecting sensor over there you cannot able to you know turn on a conveyor this is like you know uh, interlocking this ga this has to go off then only your conveyor will on but your conveyor will be turning on only this will go off correct so we cannot use this bottle sensor input instead of that i'm going to use this one that means what your process is going to start so stop the conveyor like that okay so what next what's next so what we have to do now is we have a confirmation that the process is getting started okay so with that confirmation bit will turn on a output which output our valve output correct so i'm going to get this start latch just connect start latch in all look all rung because it is a confirmation that your process has started and your start filling okay in this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on one timer what is the requirement of timer here see you are turning off your output i mean turning on turning off your conveyor output correct once you turn off your conveyor immediately you cannot turn on your valve correct you need to give one small uh, delay and that delay is creating by using this timer i'm just giving one second delay so start filling will turn off your conveyor output at the same time it will turn on your timer so with that timer on we are going to turn on our valve open this will make sense no so immediately instead of uh, uh, you know filling you can use like this so this is my exact valve output valve open okay and this valve open i have to give my timer correct so the, what will happen after this time delay only this will on no at that time your valve will be open so the when the valve is open now the water you know the drink is filling so we have to calculate the time right after 5 seconds we have to turn off this or we have to close this valve so how to calculate the timing we have to put one more timer here and well, let's give that as uh, you know 3 seconds all right so this will this timer will turn on this timer so this will start counting 3 seconds after 3 seconds this fellow will go off so this fellow have to go off means what you have to do you have to break the contact correct by using which you are going to break by using the second timer okay so let's give the name of this okay the next time we'll give name for timers also so now your valve is closed because after 3 uh, seconds your bottle is getting filled what will happen after that again your conveyor have to start to turn on turn on a conveyor again what we have to do we have to reset this start filling correct so how to reset reset the start filling by using this timer so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the start latch and uh, my t1 timer is on and a reset off which input 
hundred point zero two. So if you do the reset, what will happen? Are just a minute. Let's give the name of that. Yeah. So once this will get reset, automatically our conveyor will go on. I'm right. So this will go off and this conveyor will go on. Again, the bottle sensor is high means this process will continue. Correct. So till that we'll have a check. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the first step? We have to turn on my push button. I am turning on. Conveyor is starting running. And just since it is a push button, you off this. The conveyor is running. Okay. So, immediately the bottle sensor is going high. Look at this. Okay, instead of this start push button I have taken, this have to be our start latch. That's what it is not getting reset. So look what uh, what has happened, I will tell you. You have turned on, we have turned on this bottle detecting sensor, no? So immediately start filling turns on. Once the start filling turns on, your conveyor got off. See, off now? Yeah. So at the time, this timer is turning on to create a time delay of valve open. Okay. So, this created the time delay. After that, this fellow has turned on for 3 seconds. Valve open was on. After that, this timer, after 3 seconds, this valve open get, op get off. Okay. So, what we have done here, this reset should happen after this timer on and start latch. So, instead of that, I have put a start PV. PV means what? Our push button. Push button input I have put. That is what it is not getting reset, your cycle is not starting. So, the bottle is filled and it is over there only. It is not yet reset it. Okay. So, I have to replace that with the start latch. Just delete this. And you go for the So, for each bottle detecting sensor on, this process will happen. Okay. Turn on this and turn off. Since it is a push button, you turn off. Conveyor output is on. Look at this. Conveyor output is on. No. Okay. So, now check out the valve open hmm? there is a bottle okay valve open for three seconds after three seconds it got off that's it and conveyor is again open see i mean sorry the conveyor is again on turn off this see since it is a simulation we are turning on and we are turning off okay so practically this sensor will go on if it is detected by the if it is detecting the bottle, see, this is off, after that again on, after 3 seconds it will go off, again conveyor is on, understand, so this is a simple loop, ok, I will repeat for 2 to 3 cycles, you can understand. So, when I turn on this no, the time, this fellow will not immediately get turned on. It will create a time delay of 1 second. After 1 second only this will on because 
I have put an interlock here. Okay, watch this. One second delay. Once this is on, this is on. After three seconds, this will off. This will, you know, break it. So this will get open. So like this, you can make a logic. Okay, now right. So the process is running. The conveyor is running. Immediately there is an emergency case. They have to pressing the stop push button. So our process get stop. Should get stop. What we have to do? We have to add stop push button to this reset. Okay. So we'll add that. Stop PB and uh, that fellow is going to do the reset. That's it. Okay. Since we have connected our start latch in all rung. It will immediately stop all the process. See, in all our run, we have this start latch. Correct. So, once you turn off this here, once you reset this, every run will stop immediately. Check out. Your conveyor is on. In the emergency case, you are turning on your push button. Immediately, your output will go off. Okay. So, this is the emergency stop or the normal stop. If it is in a stop condition initially, the button is pressed. In the same time, if someone is pressing this push button, see, it will not at all reset because it is continuously, I mean, it is not at all get set because it is continuously getting reset here. All right. You can see, While bottle filling also, I will turn on this stop push button. Look at this. I am turning on my bottle detecting sensor. So, my bottle is getting filled. That time if I press this, it will immediately off. This output will also get turned off. This time it got missed. I will show you again. We have to do it fast since it is a simulation. We have to do it fast. Or we can increase the timer and see. Okay. So, we will do this time a bit fast. I am turning on here. So, bottle sensor is on. I am going to turn on. Yeah, this time you can see. Yeah. So, immediately your valve is closed. It will go off. So, no, nothing, nothing will happen at this time. So, this is how all emergency push buttons are working in automation process. Okay. So, I hope you have understand this example. Just practice. So, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos and concepts like this. So, I will meet you in the next session. Until then, bye.